Hello and welcome to this Dot Ross Maths key skill video on determining an amount given a change in a ratio where two parts are changing. Let's read the problem. Tim and Luke have money in their bank accounts in the ratio 5 to 2. Tim gives £10 to Luke and the ratio becomes 2 to 1. Work out the original amount that Luke had. Now this is quite a hard problem and we're going to use an algebraic approach to solve it. Now if we're told the ratio of Tim to Luke's money was 5 to 2, then how could we actually represent the amount of money that each of Tim and Luke had? Well, believe it or not, we can make the quantity that each person had 5x and 2x. So if two things are in the ratio 5 to 2, you can just shove an x on the end to say how much money each of them had. Because if you think about it, if you just made x anything you like, let's just say x was equal to 1, then Tim and Luke would have £5 and £2, which is in the ratio 5 to 2. Or what if x was 2? If x was 2, then Tim would have £10 and Luke would have £4. That's still in the ratio 5 to 2. So by timesing each of the 5 and 2 by x, they're still going to be in the ratio 5 to 2 because you're timesing both these numbers by the same amount. But you're allowing it to represent any two possible amounts in the ratio 5 to 2. Now we're then told that Tim gives £10 to Luke. So that's the original amount that each person had. If Tim gives £10 to Luke, then Tim is going to have £10 less. So Tim would have 5x minus 10. And Luke will have £10 more because he's been given £10. So he will have 2x plus 10. So these are the amounts that each person has now in terms of x. And we're told that this ratio is 2 to 1. Now if we turn these amounts into a ratio by just putting a colon there, if say someone had £3 and the other person had £5, then the ratio could be written as 3 to 5. We can just turn those amounts into a ratio. And we're told this is in the ratio 2 to 1. Now what we could do is just to spot, well, if it's 2 to 1, then Tim has twice as much as Luke, so Tim's amount is equal to twice as much as the 2x plus 10. But I'm going to use a more general strategy. If we have two ratios which are the same, then you can turn this into equation by doing b over a is equal to d over c. And what I'm basically saying is that the proportion difference between a and b is the same as the proportion difference between c and d, which means I can do that divided by that is equal to that divided by that. So don't worry too much about that, but the point is we can turn a ratio into an equation like this. So we're going to apply this principle on these two ratios that we've equated. So we're doing b over a, this divided by this, which is 2x plus 10, over 5x minus 10 and that's equal to d over c. d over c that's 1 over 2. So now I've got an equation in terms of x and remember when you have fraction equals fraction you can cross multiply so we can say that times that equals that times that in this kind of cross type fashion. So 2x plus 10 times 2 which is 4x plus 20 is equal to 1 times 5x minus 10 5x minus 10. Then let's just get all the x's on one side. So I'm going to get the x's on the right side because there's more x's there. So that's going to just be x if we subtract 4x from both sides. I'm also going to add 10 so you get x is equal to 30. Now we're nearly done. We've worked out x is 30. So we want to work out the original amount of money that Luke had. Well Luke we said had 2x pounds. That's the original amount that each person had. So if we do 2x 2 times 30, because x was 30, is 60 pounds, and that is the final answer.